Here's where most got it all wrong when it came to learning about debt from our parents. It's just that any debt was explained as bad debt. But that's not the actual truth. There is a difference between good debt and bad debt if used responsibly. Credit card debt, payday loans and consumer debt are all examples of bad debt. These all have high interest rates attached to them. And many times you are using this debt to buy things that won't actually ever appreciate or gain any value. On the other side, there is such a thing called good debt. And this is debt that's taken out that's actually going to help you further you in some cause. Taking out a student loan to help raise your education status, small business loans to help your business get off the ground and actually thrive. And there is, and then there is mortgage debt. The wealthiest in our country always known this to be true that by acquiring appreciating assets that also have tax advantages and leveraging them by taking out as much debt as possible and the least amount of money into the deal allows them to build exponential wealth while keeping their working capital gaining elsewhere and that's the fundamental difference between good debt and bad.